guys, this is Dr. Jonas Apostol. Hi guys, so as you'll know that we have this um, Ask Dr. J Thursday segment. So I've been answering a lot of questions, but my pinaka common questions, okay? Ito siya. Ito yung sasagutin ko. The difference between the crown and veneer. So what is a veneer? Veneer is a minimally invasive procedure wherein we remove the facial surface of the teeth or the enamel so that we can be able to put the porcelain or zirconia material. And also there's composite. But the reason why we do veneers, it's number one reason is for aesthetics. Number two, restoration. And number three is for function. So we have to remember the reason why we do or we want to have veneers in the first place. So with veneers, it's actually more minimally invasive because we don't need to remove the back portion of the teeth or the lingual area or the sides. But we are only focusing on the facial area, so front lang. So the reason why we extend sometimes yung preparation, it looks like crown, it's because there's a presence of cavities, something like that. But the main purpose of uh, the veneers is for cosmetic. But, you know, we have to implement the right way, which is health first, function, and aesthetics. So what are the different types of veneer materials? First, we have the composite material. Second, we have porcelain. And third, we have zirconia. So what is a crown? Crown is a restorative material, same as veneer, but with crown, latcha, not just the facial or the enamel or the front teeth, but also all sides of the teeth, from facial to the lingual to the nasal and distal, latyan can prepare for us to be able to come up with a stronger restoration. Okay, which is stronger? Is it veneers or crown? It really depends. It really depends on the concern. Okay, it really depends on the damage of the teeth. So a crown is commonly used for restoration of like a root canal treated tooth especially on the back portion of the teeth like the molars or something like that that is used for eating or grinding okay because we want to have an even distribution of load especially with crown it is really durable so basically the crown lahat siya not just the facial but also the lingual and the sides so lahat ng part ng, ng nipin, it's actually being prepared for the crown. The most popular material being used for the crown is a porcelain fused to metal. But nowadays, because of the advent of modern dentistry, we have a zirconia material, we have a porcel old porcelain material. So you can have a lot of choices actually, okay? Not just a very stable and durable but also beautiful restoration. Crown is usually thicker than um, veneers. When you speak about crown, usually it's like two millimeter thickness, but veneers it can actually be done in like 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.7 millimeter. So it's really thin as compared to crown. So in general, both veneers and crowns are types of restorations. So assessment is the key for you to know what type of restoration is for you. So we have to make sure that we get all the details necessary, clinical assessment, x-ray, pictures and all. And that's really important for us to be able to give you the right treatment plan. So in our clinic, we do this every day. 
we do a lot of preparations for crowns and veneers. I prefer minimally invasive treatment. I don't want to cut any sound structure if it's not worth cutting. That's why I always prefer veneers over crown. But as what I've mentioned a while ago, that we have to assess your case. And we need to make sure that we are just cutting the right amount of unsound and sound structure. So whatever treatment you receive from my dental office, I make sure that it would last. So that's, that's really the goal, uh, the longevity, the function, the health, and the aesthetics.